Gemini. Welcome back, family. It's so good to be able to see you. It's so good to be able to sit and pull cards for you here now presently. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are feeling fine. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, this reading was filmed in October. However, the reading itself is timeless. So allow yourself to receive this message whenever you feel called or whenever spirit calls you to receive it. That being said, spirit, what do we need to talk to Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising about? Um, and also for those cross watchers, I welcome you to what's going on with Gemini right now. Okay, first things first, Gemini, we have the Magician card on one side. I don't know if you can see that. And then also we have the Ten of Wands on the back side. So Gemini, I'm going to pull these cards out for you, my loves. Oh, I'm not even surprised. And then we have here the Eight of Cups for you. My loves, I heard, I just heard the word relinquish, relinquish control. Oh, and then we also had the hermit card, relinquish control. I'm also hearing the word forgiveness. I'm also hearing, um, it's, I, I heard the concept, exploring the concept of letting things go. Gemini, for whatever reason, spirit is calling me to talk to you about the idea of forgiveness. Now, before you click out, bear with me, sit with me, because I feel like that that was definitely an eye roll for some of you guys. There are some burdens, some relationships, some situations that you have had to let go of, that you had to relinquish, that you had to surrender, that you were not ready to let go of. And then as I'm saying that, we have the star card here. Star card is reversed. This is the, this is the things that it is that you were like, I was not expecting it to turn out like this. I was actually hoping for more. I was hoping for better. I deserved better. I wanted more. I actually tried and it didn't work out. And spirit is saying, we know, we hear that, we acknowledge that. They are also saying, we are expecting you to expect us. We are expecting you to expect us to talk to you guys about the lesson. You are so used to, Gemini, hearing about what you have to do differently, what you should have done, um, the lesson and saying goodbye and all this other stuff. And Spirit is like, honestly, we're not here to give you that lesson or we're not here to give you that lecture anymore. We just kind of want to sit with you and embrace you in the here, now, present, in this moment. We want you to come to us, light oils, burn incense, light a candle, write it down, get it out. All of this, I heard the words poison. It's these, it's this um, angst. And also the words that's coming through is um, like the things that you need to get out, the things that you've been holding on your heart and in your belly. It's giving me a lot of solar plexus and sacral chakra type of energy. It all just kind of sits here. Gemini, um, there's this message of being really careful and cautious about what it is that you're eating and also what it is that you're breathing in, um, how you are nour nourishing yourself because it feels like there's an imbalance um, from stress because of disappointments, because of frustration, because of things you had to let go of, because of how things didn't work out. And now in order, you're trying to like self-soothe is what spirit is kind of giving me. You're trying to self-soothe, so be very careful about not eating too much fast food, not eating, not smoking bad things or inhaling bad things. Um, and also, if there's this really, em there's this emphasis on the breath. So this could be yoga, this could be meditation, recentering, grounding yourself. Those types, th those types of things are very, very important. And spirit wants you to call yourself back into that space. Um, they don't want to talk to you guys about the lesson. I feel like you even having that conversation about, okay, everything that I had to let go was just served a lesson. It served a purpose. Okay. You've just, it's that concept has just kind of been beat down to the ground. It's like beating a dead horse. Um, especially with this eight of cups here, it's just kind of like, okay, it's easy to say that, but like, it's easy to say that there's a lesson in, you know, the past and the lesson in how things worked out, but 
we actually want there to be some level of an impact right now and the largest impact is going to come from you giving yourself the space to kind of forgive yourself and others for it being the mess that it is um that's very that's something that's very beautiful i'm i'm feeling you kind of going on a retreat not away from the rest of the world but actually or away from people but you are retreating into things that make you feel good um because it feels like you've been punished enough it feels like there's been enough things that feel very punishing and to say to yourself i don't know why spirit keeps repeating this but we're not we don't want to call it a lesson even if it is a lesson we don't want to just keep leaning on that we don't want to see you leaning on that because it doesn't give you the space to kind of like process your feelings and you know process all that happened and all that was lost and um all that you were called to kind of walk away from it, it takes a lot of strength and spirit is saying that we acknowledge and we see that strength so instead of you going back out and fighting with the world again instead of you going back out and fighting for your career or fighting for your, the next relationship or fighting for your friendship or fighting in your fitness or it's just like relinquish that right now and be gentle and be easy look at this put things on hold for a little bit we have two of swords we have knight of swords and seven of swords some of you guys are feeling like you you have to go right back out and attack you know strong you have to attack strong you have to put yourself out there and spirit is like you actually don't need to do that right now just give it some time lay it to rest seven of swords means you know what you think that you should be doing because your intention is to manifest it, this your intention is to do this your intention is to build this your intention is to blah 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 fill in the blank spirit is saying you know we understand we hear your intention but let's i want to talk to you about our intention for you i want to talk to you about the healing that you are avoiding the healing that you feel that you may be incapable of receiving right now. I want to restore that energy back into you. I want to restore your energy right now and turn that upside down. So spirit, exactly what, ex what do you see for them right now? Um, I just am seeing a temple right now. Um, this could actually be a literal temple, okay? The chariot card and the eight of pentacles. Um, so for some of you guys, this might be an actual temple for others, like a spiritual temple that you go to in order to go for meditation or maybe a yoga class or you oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, maybe rest, <laughs> maybe that's the temple too, that you need to go to is just kind of like rest, um, watching a movie. I don't know why I'm seeing that kind of going into what it is is a sanctuary that is all your own a nice cozy spot this could be a, a place on the sofa um a garden or backyard a, a lake uh, out in the mountains wherever it is that you need to go in order to do what you like and what you love in order to enjoy the fruits of your labor and to work on the fruits of your labor eight of pentacles is definitely connected to work and productivity and being efficient and perfectionism but spirit is saying we're if that's if work is your happy place and if work is your sanctuary by all means lose yourself in that but for a lot of you guys it's just about putting getting very serious i just heard the word by serious we mean active being active being an active participant in getting away what does that look like for you? What meaning does that have for you? That's going to be totally up to you. But I'm seeing, and look at this, we have 10 of swords here. There's a lot. You have to take this trip. You have to, to, to disconnect. You have to um, get off your phone. Put your phone on do not disturb. Stop con contacting and talking to negative people toxic people that always drain your energy or finding yourself in the same situation the same apps the same places that just invite in chaotic dysfunctional bullshit i'm gonna call it what it is let's say if you log on to instagram 
and your feed is not constructive to your well-being and to your healing and it's just a constant reminder of what happened or what it could have been and what it's not or whatever the case is that you're battling don't even try to fix it just walk away from it gemini let's say you're on dating apps um, and every time you go on there, it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's just a bunch of shenanigans. Walk away from it. Delete it. Find yourself, position yourself in a new place. Let's say it's your work environment is toxic, dysfunctional. Move your desk away from those that distract you, those that are, are, chaotic, whatever it is, you guys get my drift. It's picking yourself up and placing yourself in a new situation and ending it, ending the bullshit. And this is something that you have to do for yourself. The magician card here, the magician card and the seven of swords. You have to do it for yourself. You have to set the intention. You have to move forward. It's going to be something that you are going to choose to do. And if not, then literally you're going to keep finding i'm hearing the words repeat offender you're going to find yourself repeating the same pattern or finding yourself dealing with the same bullshit again and again and again some of you guys are saying oh like again there's this need to kind of just throw yourself back in there throw yourself back out there keep fighting the good fight and spirit is saying listen that is not that's not the actual answer <laughs> that's not the answer okay guys i'm going to pull from the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn and see what this deck has to say for my Gemini babies. Okay. Clarity for that. Oh, wow. And then with that, dude, you guys have courage. So the cards that jumped out for you are Manifesting Dreams. That was the first one. And we have this little otter here. So I really want you guys to Google otter animal spirit and see what messages come through for you there. As cute and as playful and as wonderful as, as otters are, they're very, very protective of their young. While you're looking up the otter animal totem, also YouTube the video videos of otters attacking people. And you will see how as adorable as they are, as, as much of a fighter that they are. And channel that energy for yourself. Um, also manifesting this, manifesting your dreams. I think I might've said manifesting your desires, but either way, it, it's the same thing. Manifesting your dreams, manifesting your desires. And you guys also have the magician card and you ha also have the star card. So clearly spirit has some really strong visions and prophecies for you, but I don't think that it's going to come from you attacking the same situations. I actually feel like you're going to be, it's going to come from you removing yourself, which is what I said. And that leads me to the next card, which is retreat. Retreat, that's literally what is it I'm saying. I just see you pulling yourself out, pulling yourself away. And literally they're sitting in a snow globe. You're creating a world of your own, a whole, your whole other magical reality. You're going to be manifesting your dreams within this. And it takes actual courage sometimes in order to do this. Meanwhile, we have butterflies all around this card. I thought that's what it is that I saw, but there's a lot of transformation here that's occurring. So trust that. I know that it can be really hard, but trust it, Gemini. Stop fighting the good fight in places that are not good. I love you guys so much. If you need help with manifesting any of your current desires, any of your current dreams, any of your current realities, you can definitely visit me within my apothecary, the shop, bahadilife.com, bahadilife.com slash shop. I will link it down below in the description box. I have all types of fixed candles. I have all types of herbs, intention oils, and other objects and items that you are going to need in order to manifest all of your dreams and desires. Of course, I'm here for you. I am not doing any readings at this time, so be very mindful and aware of anybody in the comments that's offering you readings, especially through WhatsApp. I don't use that app in order to 
uh, communicate and contact anyone, just FYI. Until then, you guys, I want to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. I'm sending you all of my love. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.